What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Steamworks. I'm really excited about today's show. We got some really good content to share with everybody. Got some big news coming down the pipe, so I want to invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. That way you can get all the latest updates and content from Power Mechanical. So today we're talking all about boiler feed water valves, modulating feed valves uh, specifically. So let's go ahead and just get right to it. Feed water for a boiler is uh, critical. It's a fairly straightforward concept to understand that the supply of water to the boiler is essentially its lifeline. And as I've worded it before, this is essentially what feeds the beast. Steam boilers require flow control to match or make up the steam that is being put out. This rate of makeup is critical that it is matched precisely as a system that is not getting adequate feed water will risk shocking the boiler, whereas a system getting excessive feed water will see steam carryover that can lead to a whole host of other problems. So getting the right amount of feed water at the right time is extremely important in a steam boiler. There are numerous types and brands of both the valve and the actuators that are used on many of these systems. The sliding gate valve design is one that has been used in feed water applications for decades. The two-part gate is made up of a stationary gate and a movable disc with orifices that aid in delivering reliable and consistent flow. Some of these designs and feed valves can have problems with leaking past and flooding the boiler when it's offline or in standby, which will as well create problems when the boiler is refired. So not only is flow critical, but that watertight shutoff as well is of utmost importance. For years here at Power Mechanical, we use these gate style valves in our rental fleet on many of our larger capacity boilers and still see this design on some applications. Over the years, we found that one of the worst calls you can receive from a customer is one that is uh, feed water related. And that led us to designing our own feed water valve that can deliver these same efficient and reliable feed rates so we're going to head over to Powerhouse Valve to speak with Matt about some of the design features of this reliable Honeywell modulating feed water valve that we designed here. So Matt, I was just telling our viewers about the Honeywell modulating uh, feed water valve that we have here and talking about some of the design features and such. And I thought that it'd be best if I just come over here, let you tell us about it. Tell them, tell them why it's a great choice for their steam boilers. Absolutely. The uh, Honeywell Mod Motor is used in a hundred applications, you know, uh, controlling louvers. We use it on our chiller process, our boiler rooms. The nice thing about a Honeywell Mod Motor, it'll work on newer controls or older controls. We have the capabilities of, you know, uh, interface with old technology versus new technology with uh, the simple addition of a small module, you know. So that covers us on the electrical part. The ball valve that we use is good for a high pressure range and a high temperature range. You know, we're good to 1,000 PSI water, oil, or gas up to uh, 490 degrees Fahrenheit. So that'll pretty much control any gas or liquid that we need to use it for. And uh, over the years, one thing that we really learned uh, through trial and error, we use these on our own rental equipment as well as our customer base is we changed our design from a full port ball valve to a one piece V port ball valve. Uh, the, the advantage with the one piece ball valve is there's no two pieces to separate, come apart, corrosion, uh, pressure, turbulent flow. You get uh, abrasives in your liquid or product or whatever it is that deteriorate the two parts. So this is a actual one piece ball valve. So tell me about this linkage here. Cause I noticed when I was messing with this valve earlier that these, it's got this quick connect. I really like that. And I think that I've talked to some of our service techs and I think that they've found that to be a very huge advantage. Absolutely. Uh, it's the troubleshooting, right? So we disconnect one link. The technician can manually actuate the bottom of the valve. You can distinct, hey, am I having problems with the mod motor or is it the ball valve, right? So it really makes it easy to troubleshoot it in the field and just, it. we benefit from it greatly with our freeze protection, Edward. Instead of uh, trying to get the valve in a sweet spot, you know, open it up, whatever, we just disconnect the linkage, get the valve to a 45 degree angle, we're good. 
And guys, freeze protection is a huge deal here at Power Mechanical. Matter of fact, last week's boiler room tip was on freeze protection for your uh, valves in dry layup. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure and go check that one out as well. So tell me a little bit more about with that V-port design, like what, what's important with that? My personal opinion is the flow of the valve. With the V-port, it allows you to have a nice laminar flow because as the valve slowly opens, it gives the crest of the triangle, which shoots the fluid in a straight laminar direction versus a traditional ball type where it goes from like 10% open to 80% open, you know, in a matter of like 10 degrees. So what happens is it forces the fluid to one side of the housing of the valve. And that was one of the first hard lessons that we learned is that it will erode away the body of the valve by directing the flow of water opposite of the open side of the valve. So the nice thing with the V-port is it gives a nice laminar flow as the valve opens and it's so much more controllable. And so Matt, anything else you want to tell us about this before we get in? I want to, we're going to hook this thing up on the test stand here. We're going to stroke this valve out and let you see some of these uh, inner components, how that uh, ball valve actually modulates uh, while this feed water is being uh, regulated to the boiler. So anything else you want to add to it? No, it's, it's just a good bulletproof. It's like an army tank of valves. It's a good, basic, simple design. We manufacture all the linkage parts here in-house. The mod motors are industry standard, along in with the ball valve is another industry standard item. So there's never a lead time. We stock all these items and they're always accessible. And we carry from three quarter inch all the way up to two and a half inch with the modulating feed valves. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, be sure and hit that thumbs up button. And also make sure and subscribe to our channel. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.